So we finally arrived in Exumas, Georgetown. Yes, Georgetown. It's like it, this is a town, not what we have been seeing before. <laughs> It's got three bars at least, you know? yeah. and we've got data. We just bought data, I can't believe it. The Great Bahamas Bank stretches over 300 miles across the archipelago. It is a limestone plateau that is slowly sinking under its own weight. Much of the waters are only a few metres deep and have stunning colours. So we're into this uh, bit of channel here now, five metres. This is 3.8 at no uh, time. Having cleared Hog K Cut, we had a great sail up the windward side of the islands to Georgetown. Finally arrived in Exumas, Georgetown. Yes, Georgetown. It's like it, this is a town, not what we have been seeing before. <laughs> it's got three bars at least, you know? yeah. and we've got data. We just bought data. I can't believe it. Yep, unlimited data for a um, thirty days a month. We haven't had any bars. on our phone since we left Mexico. No, it's been terrible. It has absolutely been terrible, and we are so sorry to everybody. And because. Yeah. Uh, uh, the patron didn't, didn't allow, allow us to work on the, on the website from Cuba. No, so we couldn't do anything from Cuba. So, next stop, beer. Beer. <laughs> 
So this is the state of our bin. It's really bad. It's cold everywhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna be brave enough and try to do a new one. In the state of the windows, you can't even see through them. No, it's terrible. It really is this disintegrating, isn't it? It is. So first job, I'm going to be doing, taking these pieces off and do new templates and cut the new ones. Let's see. This is stronger than the one we have. Mm -hmm. The sound at Georgetown is well protected by Stocking Island that runs along the Windward Coast. When we went through a storm the other week, uh, going to Cuba, uh, from Cancun, um, the outboard got absolutely swamped and the reverse throttle cables, so there's two throttle cables, there's the one that makes it go faster and there's one that pulls it back and uh, that got uh, corroded up with salt and snap. And so I've come up with a couple of ingenious ideas, one was to use some hairbands, which didn't quite work, and uh, so now I'm going to try and make a uh, throttle cable out of some stainless line we use on the end of the fishing rods. So here we go. Taking a swivel apart that we use on the hooks and clamped it. I'm hoping that's going to fit in there. So I've just managed to get that little bauble there and uh, when I turn it it's just okay. So what we have to do now is do exactly the same on the other end and hopefully this will work. So here's the final uh, result. I had to do this three times and I had to use a thicker wire in the end but that ball's sitting in there and hopefully it's going to work. It's a bit thick for it, isn't it? Yeah, because this is uh, reinforcing, you know? Yeah. It was time to use the diesel from our jerry cans, which we filled from a tanker in Matthew Town. We decided to filter the fuel just in case there was any dirt in the tanks. Oh, bloody hell, it's dirty, isn't it? Look at that. That shows you how much muck was actually in there. And that was in 20 litres. So I came up with a little modification and put it over the end of the pipe and came and tied it on. And this has just had uh, 40 litres of diesel go through it. It doesn't look as bad as the first can. No, but it is dirty. No, look, it is dirty. Look at the spot. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. So. 
Oh, there's less things going into yeah, the filter, isn't it? It is, it is. So there we go. That's that job done. Hello everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video where we experienced the shallow waters of the Bahamas and going through the cuts. Yeah, it was actually, it's very scary really because um, if you've ever been aground you'll know as soon as you get on there you've got to get off as quickly as you can. But these things are so shallow and there's a very little trace line on the uh, charts which tells you which way is recommended. And uh, yeah. But it, then it misses some places. Yeah, isn't it? it's, so it's, it's, <laughs> a, it's a devil, it really is. It really is. But it's force, stressful, it's very, very, very stressful. stressful. One of the days I was at the front of the boat all day. Yeah. It, uh, we managed to get through the cut and it wasn't too bad. Um, actually, it was slightly deeper in the middle than we were thinking, but it's the outsides of the cut at front beginning and the end which was really shallow yeah. and uh, un unwieldingly scary. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have to count with the currents as well. Yeah, you've got the current flowing through there which uh, can get a bit of a lick on as well. So uh, you need to be under control of your boat. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, from there we had quite a good sail up to Georgetown. Georgetown. It was quite a metropolis after we have been isolated <laughs> for three weeks. <laughs> it's amazing really. You know, you get three bars and a couple of shops and you think, wow, this wow, is a big this city. Is town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we did need to be, uh, manage to buy some internet there which was uh, really good. And we spent about a week there, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, having a look around and uh, there's all sorts of facilities there. It's a fantastic place actually. Yeah. Uh, over 300 yachts in the, uh, on, the, on the sound there so uh, it was really quite busy. So yeah, yeah full, full marks, full ticks for Georgetown. Yeah, yeah. yeah, people go every year and they spend the whole season there. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That yeah. wasn't for us was yeah. it? No. <laughs> but we did a few jobs while we were there. Carla got started on the Bimini. On the Bimini which is a big job for the, to do it on the boat because I don't have enough space yeah. to light everything down. Yeah. And um, the sewing machine is not quite as good as... Uh, well, it's fine for the actual canvas actual, work, yes, but it's yes. when you get four or five uh, layers. layers yes, yeah. and I had six at times, so yeah. uh, it was quite of a big job. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was difficult, it was difficult. I did my best, I did my best according to the conditions I had. Exactly. <laughs> and you'll see the, the end result of that in next week's programme. Yeah. And also, uh, I managed to fix the uh, parson, the outboard. Yeah, oh, you, did, really, you did a good job I there. I can't believe that. It's now about four weeks since uh, that and it's working absolutely perfectly. Yeah. Uh, we have ordered some new cables, uh, but uh, I'm just going to leave those in there until uh, it goes. Yeah. Well, the cables honest. are not with us yet. No, they're no, not with us yet, yeah. no. And they may not get to us for some time. That's yeah. a good point. And, uh, yeah, we had some dirty fuel there. Um, somebody uh, messaged me on Facebook and uh, said that uh, they'd picked up some dirty fuel from that tanker in Matthew Town, and so we decided to filter it and uh, yeah it was yeah, it was it yeah. was really dirty yeah. really yeah. Yes. yeah so it was a good thing it was a good thing yes so thank you very much for watching yeah thank you very much for following us if you can please click on the button to subscribe that will help us a lot yeah. thank you very much bye bye